Hi everyone, it's Lynn Smythe from The Creative Cottage. How y'all doing today? I want to thank you all for taking the time to stop by my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of some rings that I got in an online auction. I think this came from shopgoodwill.com and I actually did a coastal theme unboxing the other day and I think I said I was going to do these rings in that video but I ended up doing I think four unboxings of smaller lots in that video so today I'm actually going to do the rings <laughs> and I think it's a lot of around 40 rings give or take probably half are on stretchy bands adjustable and the other half are size. So I'll just go through these really quickly to see what I got in the bundle. And here's my housekeeping real quick. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing. That way I know people are watching the videos and I'll keep creating content for you. You can also click the notification bell if you want to. And then anytime I have new content available, YouTube will send you a notification. All this information is in the description box below the video. If you ever see anything in my videos you're interested in, just um, let me know which video you're watching, timestamp, description, and you can reach out to me, sales at creativecottage.net. For the most part, I list all my costume jewelry on my eBay store, and that link is included in the description box below the video. I know some people doing these unboxings will give prices as they're going along. Um, I'm still kind of new to this, so I'm still kind of in the research phase where I'm still trying to figure out prices. And I often bundle items together, either like by theme, like maybe cottage core, mermaid core, or Barbie core, or by color, or by type. Um, I don't do single items that often, unless, um, you know, like the sterling silver and gemstone jewelry I'll often list separately. So anyhow, I'm going to do the baggie of the adjustable rings first. So this one's, oh, I'm to check my lighting here. This one's a big red rhinestone in the middle, surrounded by smaller rhinestones, kind of on a, in an antique gold tone. Here's what that looks like. And because it's stretchy, I'm not going to give you a size because it, it basically one size will fit most. And, oh, this is stretchy too. I'm like, this is a size ring, but no, this is stretchy too. <laughs> It's a bunch of clear rhinestones with the AB coating. Kind of gives it a look like a rainbow almost. And silver tone metal. Here's what that looks like. Nice and sparkly. This one's not quite as adjustable as the other kind because it's got this. Whereas this is more like, like this is more solid and this is more like beads. So this one, yeah, you could probably still fit up to about a size eight. Ooh, look at this fun one. Pink uh, enamel, gold tone metal. Some clear rhinestone with a big double flower in really excellent condition. I don't think these stretchy rings have maker's marks, so I'll check as I'm going. Here's what that one looks like. Woohoo! Big faux pearl cabochon, silver tone metal. Again, this one looks like it's in like new condition. Fun. And 
And here's another flowering, kind of a frosted or matte silver tone flower with lots of clear rhinestones. Looks like it's in excellent condition. All the rhinestones are there. That's what it looks like on the back. Here's what that one looks like. And here's an all rhinestone ring. Uh, what do they call it when they're, they're square shaped? Is that like baguettes? A bunch of rhinestone baguettes on silver tone metal. Blingy bling. And let me know in the comments, do you like to uh, bid on lots of single items? Like when I was first starting out with the costume jewelry, I wasn't having great luck bidding on some of those mixed jewelry lots. So I started bidding on like an all earring lot, an all pin lot, and all ring lots. And those are some of the first few auctions I won. Now I'm getting better luck at getting some of the mixed lots. But I just find it's easier in these smaller lots to get a good idea of what you're going to get with some of the bigger lots. Like I just had a 20 pound lot that I got. If you only get like four or five pictures, you're only seeing like a few items, like the items on the outside of the bag. You, it's harder to see what you're getting. Um, sometimes it's nice to see everything you're going to get. So there's no surprises. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. This one's a little, I guess, silver tone medallion with a kind of icy blue rhinestone, but I think it's is it supposed to be copper. There's a lot of copper. Is it just worn away? Yeah, I just think it's an older piece. It's worn away, so I might not sell this one. Here's what it looks like. Ooh, another big flower. Ooh, this one's huge. <laughs> it's a double flower, peach enamel, bunch of clear rhinestones, a little faux pearl in the center. Kind of antique gold tone. And see, this one looks older. It looks like it, some of the gold tone is worn down to copper, and it looks like the elastic is starting to fray. So that one might be going into crafts also. And what's next? <clears throat> Here's a little antique copper colored ring with some, looks like hematite. Here's what that looks like. And how many? Just a few more in this bag. Excuse me, I'm going to get a drink of water. <coughs> Ooh, that's getting all scratchy there. Ooh, look at this beauty. Blingy bling. This is um, dark amber, large dark amber rhinestones bunch of kind of golden or beigey colored faux pearls, bunch of clear rhinestones. Here's what it looks like in the back. <coughs> that beauty. Woohoo! Three more of the stretchy rings. Yes. Got this cute little one. Uh, looks like somebody made that. It's just like the spacer beads. I would usually use these spacer beads on like bracelet or necklace projects. The antique silver tone spacer beads. Some little round dial spacers and a faux pearl. That one's cool. Put that in 
here. Then I got this big one, uh, ivory or off-white or faceted plastic stone, bunch of clear rhinestones, and then another ring of the same color, ivory, uh, the gold tone. that looks like it's an adjustable band you can wear it on any finger and the last of the adjustable band rings Ooh, this one's cool looks like uh, like the black mother of pearl cool look at that silver tone accents rhinestones Here's what it looks like on the back. Ooh, that one's fun. I like that one a lot. And now I'm gonna go through this bag. I think these are all sized rings. So I've got my ring mandrel and I'll go through and size them up for you. Oops, did I have it open already and I just close it? <laughs> that was brilliant. Dump them all out. And I'll just start grabbing. Well, that one's pretty. Nice purpley amethyst color. Um, was it marquee cut? with the clear rhinestones, silver tone band. And these, <coughs> I'm gonna to check to see if they have markings. Oftentimes the ones that are sized are marked and this one is marked. I don't know if I can read it. It says GR South China. And this is size, got a size six, which is too small for my ring finger. That's pretty. And these I think I could put on this ring board. Yeah, those should all fit in there. And the next one is, first I thought this was like black, but Holding up to the light. Mm, looks like dark garnet red color almost. You know that almost brownish garnet red with rhinestones or marcasites on the side. Looks like marcasites, which are actually pyrite. That's what it looks like. A uh, silver tone band. Let me check this one real quick to see if it's got any maker's marks. Mm, oh, something. So hard to see the maker's marks. It's just P, D or P O. Don't know what that means. Yeah, this is about size eight and a quarter. Here's what that looks like. Put that here. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this one. That's amazing. It's on um, gunmetal color ring shank. A little square shape. And loads of different color rhinestones. Looks like pink, blue, green. Very fun. Uh, don't see any maker's marks. Let me get you a size. Ooh, this one's bigger. It's about nine. So I could fit that on my index finger, I think. 
Yeah, ooh, that's nice. That might be a keeper. I've gotten a lot of the gold tone and silver tone rings, not too many with uh, gunmetal, so that's a little bit different. There you go. An engagement ring. Diamond and gold. I'm rich. <laughs> There's a big uh, little blingy bling. Big stone in the middle. Bunch of smaller rhinestones on the sides. Gold tone metal. Let me see. I don't see any maker's marks. Let me see what size this is. Ooh, this one's big. Like a 10. Yeah. I can wear that one on my thumb. Or my index finger. Ooh, look at this big chunky one. So big purple stone, faceted. Look at that. That might almost be a CZ, not just regular glass. See how sparkly it is? And it's got some cool pattern on the side. This is, the band is silver tone, but these side details are gold tone. So it's dual tone, silver and gold. Yeah, let me see if this has a mark anywhere. Mm. 18K. And maybe GF for gold filled? I don't believe that that's true. Um, most of these bundles that I get from Shop Goodwill or wherever, they say that they test everything and nothing tests as precious metal. Like most of these bundles, they test it and they'll pull out anything that's actual gold or silver. So I highly doubt that this is actual gold filled. It could be, but I mean, I'll do a little bit more research, but I, I'm guessing no. I'm finding quite a few fakers and some of these things but people say no we tested it and it says 925 it's not <laughs> i do have a pile of stuff i think that is actual like a lot of sterling earrings and rings not a lot but enough to keep to the side that i'll do further testing on but it's a shame that you know costume jewelry i guess if there's money to be made there will be fakers that one's almost too chunky to fit on that. There, put that there. This one I probably won't sell. It's quite worn. Uh, it was originally gold tone. Got loads. Come on, let's focus. Loads of rhinestones, clear rhinestones. But see, it's quite worn. You can see the copper coming through. If it's just like a little bit of copper coming through on the back, sometimes it's not too noticeable. This, But this is almost the whole band is starting to look copper. I'm going to check real quick to see if there's a maker's mark. Yep. Or any kind of marking. Yeah, see, this one says 925. So if you saw this new... And you saw uh, bright and shiny and gold, you would think, oh, that's Vermeer or Vermeer, which is gold, real gold over sterling silver. But as this gold coating is wearing away, that's not sterling silver underneath. That is copper. So another faker. About size nine. Here's what that looks like. I even found, um, <laughs> I'm not going to say the name, but there's a website that I'm seeing everywhere. Everybody's doing unboxings of stuff they're getting from this website from another country. 
And I was looking at some of their stuff. I was looking at like earring backings and some other stuff. A lot of stuff is stamped 925. None of it's sterling. But it's stamped 925. They're, I mean, they're not trying to sell it as sterling, but it's stamped 925. So the end user either could get fooled into thinking it's sterling or they could be trying to fake it, other people selling stuff marked 925 and it's not. So I guess buyer beware. Anytime you see 925, hmm. Test it, because it's more often than not, it's not going to be sterling. This is a real nice one. It's in real great condition. Little cluster of faux pearls. And these little kind of ribbon effects with rhinestones. Now this one looks like it has uh, some of those little sizers to make it smaller. So I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to see any maker's mark, because... If there was any, because this little sizer thing is... Oh, wait, what's this say? Is that Avon? Yep. Okay, this is Avon. The, I don't know if I can get that to focus or not. Right there, it says Avon. Usually, if the rings are stamped, they're stamped on the band. But this is stamped on the back of the faux pearl part. And get you a size on this. About a six, oops, about six and a half. Oh, it's because it's got the sizer thing. <laughs> so I guess it's about six to six and a half. I'm like, why is it changing sizes? <laughs> Here's another big blingy ring. Could be an engagement ring, but. Big giant rhinestones and sections of smaller rhinestones. These little step downs. Gold tone. Looks like it's starting to get somewhere. Let me see if there's a maker's mark. Or any kind of information. Yep. Let's see. Can I tell what it says though? Um... G K G E. I have no clue what that's supposed to mean. I don't know if that's the country of origin, the manufacturer. Not sure. It's coming in size 10. Again, it's pretty big. I could wear it on my thumb. Or I could wear it on my index finger. And oh, usually this kind of ring would be on an adjustable band. It's uh, loads of peachy colored acrylic stones, kind of in a floral shape with lots of clear rhinestones, gold tone metal, but it's not an adjustable band. Let me see if I see any markings on the band. Don't see any markings on the band, so I'll get you a size. It's coming in about seven and three quarters. Here's what that looks like. Ooh, here's another one. Big chunky monkey. Kind of like this uh, purple one. But this one is pink. Sparkly. Here's what it looks like on the side. Doesn't have all that embellishment like the other one did. Silver tone band. Looks like it's starting to wear away a little bit. Let me check for markings. Don't see any markings. I'll get you a size. Let's focus. About six and a quarter. Nice. Let's see if I can put 
that there. <coughs> oh, my throat's getting scratchy again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. Do you get allergies in the summer? I live in South Florida, so every season's allergy season. <laughs> Especially, we spend a lot of time indoors, under air conditioning. My building, my apartment building, had a roof leak uh, a while back, and they sort of fixed it. I think they fixed it on top, so it stopped leaking. But on underneath, all they did was paint inside my closet. Nobody went in between the roof and my closet ceiling. There's a crawl space. Nobody went in there to pull out what I would think would be moldy insulation and who knows what. So I have an air purifier. I've got it turned off right now. So it's not taking over the audio of this video. But most of the time I have the air filter running. Um, but yeah, I get a lot of scratchiness. Itchy eyes. Coughing, scratchy throat, all that fun stuff. Here's a cute little ring. Real sweet. It's just a single clear rhinestone with this AB coating. It would be nice if my thing would focus when I wanted it to. Yes, no. Sparkly. Silver tone metal. Pretty good shape. Uh, very thin band, so I don't think there's going to be any marking on it. No. Let's see what size this is. It's about seven and a half. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like all the rings, man. That's one of my favorite bundles to buy are rings. Just because, you know, I've made jewelry for many years, sold jewelry, and now getting into the costume jewelry. I hardly ever wear stuff. Even when I made my own one-of-a-kind pieces, I hardly ever wear the stuff I make. <laughs> but rings, I would always wear rings. I don't know. When I was younger, I wore a lot of earrings, but over the years, earrings really bother me. And now anything with weight, even my watch, I'm finding it, like the pressure of my watch or the weight of my watch is bothering me, so I don't wear my watch all the time now. Don't wear a lot of bracelets. Occasionally, we'll wear a necklace. So the one piece of jewelry I will wear, rings. So I guess the theory, if you buy a lot of rings and it doesn't sell, I've got a fantastic collection of rings. Woohoo! <laughs> Here's a nice piece. Uh, two big clear stones, kind of triangular shape, medium sized one and a larger one. Kind of open, so I wonder if this is kind of, yeah, you could probably adjust this a little bit because it's an open band instead of a solid band. Silver tone metal in great shape. Let me check the inside of the ring shank real quick for any marks. Oh, don't see any. This is coming in about a size six and a half. That's real nice. Mm -hmm. it down there. Ooh, I gotta redo my nails. My nails got really long and I should have cut them because now, see, they're all just kind of snapped off as I'm going through my day just doing stuff. They started to snap off, so now I've got really short nails. Looks like I've been chomping on my nails. <laughs> but I need to do a different color. Here's a real sweet band, just Silver tone, thin band, a few little rhinestones, and I think I see something. Ooh, I see a bunch of stuff stamped on the band. S-U-C-H. So C-H maybe for China, S-U for, I don't know. Oh, and C-Z. Is it cubic zirconia or? I don't know. Don't know what all that stuff means. <laughs> About size eight or eight and a quarter. But eight or six? Seems tiny. Yeah, no, six. <laughs> that is not an eight. This thing would friggin' focus. Seriously? There. Yeah, about six and a quarter. Tiny. Yeah. Here. 
Ooh. This one looks like you would put a, another ring in the middle. I don't know if I have the matching ring. That, well, it doesn't exactly match, but we'll try it. So this is like a wedding band to wear with another, you know, like a solitaire. Lots of rhinestones, gold tone. Oh, it's open in the back. And then, so you would wear it like your solitaire gold tone. I'll check that to see if there's any marks. But the idea is, yeah, this is not the one that would go with it. The idea would be to do something like that. But see, the size is off, so that's not the... I think I went through, or I've had this bundle for a couple of weeks. I think I went through and tried all the rings that kind of look like wedding bands and none of them really yeah none of them really fit exactly so let me check to see if there's marks and then i'll get you the size no. <laughs> don't see any marks so the, the solitaire is, ooh, that's big, like an 11. Ah, come back. And then this one, and is there a name for that? I'm sure there's a name for it. <laughs> um, okay, that's. Like ten and three quarters. That's what I'm saying. I don't think these were meant to go. Yeah. Also, cause see the way the stones are, putting this ring in kind of covers the stones. Well, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I guess you could wear it. It's just this band for the solitaire is really thin. So I don't. Maybe that was supposed to go together. I don't know. No, but here you have big gaps. See, that looks funny. Anyhow, you get the gist. <laughs> sort of like a wedding ring set. Oh, I'll do this one. That's what's funny. It's kind of out of place. Um, ooh, scary. What is it? Like a, a dragon, I guess. And I mean, I guess that could be. No, those look like sea beads for the red sea beads for the eyes. And I guess that could be a per piece of turquoise. Or dyed howlite. It just, ooh, this all kinds of jank. It's old and the band's quite messed up. I guess it'd be good for Halloween or something. <laughs> so, about eight and a half, eight and three quarters. There you go. Different. It's not sparkly. Yeah, what do I have left? Just a few more to go. Here's a big thingy one. It's kind of a smoky quartz color almost. Gold tone band. Um, might be marking. Ooh, this looks like a tiny ring. Giant stone, but tiny size. Nope, oh, have to flip it over. Got a bunch of 18 carat HCL. Um, I don't believe it's 18 carat. If it was, maybe gold filled in. Oh my, tiny, tiny. I can't even get that on my pinky. Uh, like four and a half. There's a big chunky one. It's just, uh, yeah, that's just a yellow acrylic faceted stone. Silver tone metal could use a nice cleaning. 
I think I see some markings. Let me see. Oh, eight. And then some LU, or it could be foreign language. Uh, like size eight. I don't think I can get these markings to show up on camera. No. It's a big stone and right there. It's like L. Sort of looks like LU. Two. Put that. Uh, that here. And what's this one? Ooh, another pretty purpley stone, kind of a dark amethyst color. And these rhinestones are marcasites. Mm -hmm. hmm. I think they're fake marcasites. It's just, see how it sparkles sort of like a marcasite? But looking at it underneath my jewel loop, this is just silver tone metal. It's not a separate stone that's been placed in there. They've just did the pattern for this ring. Yeah, it's not even marcasites. Man, they're faking everything these days. Fakers, fakers, everywhere. Fakers. Don't see any maker's mark or any stamping. Coming in about eight and three quarters. Still a nice ring, but just like really costume jewelry isn't that expensive. You know, why can't you just do real marcasites? <laughs> Here's another faux diamond solitaire. Big round rhinestone. Thin silver band. Looks like in great condition. I don't think I'm going to see any marks because the band's so thin. And get you size. And it's about seven and a quarter. Oh man, my voice is getting so hoarse. So I will, another note to myself, making a mental note to myself. I need to, I've got those Ricola throat soothing drops somewhere, like in my kitchen somewhere. Mm. I need to film. I filmed these uh, videos in my bedroom because I have a rather big bedroom, small apartment, big bedroom. So I had I work from home and my main desk is out in the kind of living room, dining room area. So my second desk is in my bedroom, a little L-shaped desk to do my videos. Anyhow, I need to bring some of my throat lozenges in here. So, mm-hmm. What do you say? This is like seven, seven and a quarter. <clears throat> Oh, sweet. Put that there. Another kind of solitaire look. A little round stone. I don't know if it's rhinestone or cubic zirconia. Got the little pave small rhinestones on the side. Silver tone metal in great shape. Uh, let me get my loop. Might be something. To... Yep, S U. CH. I saw that in the other one. And then the CZ. So it was a CH China, the CZ Cubic Zirconia, and I don't want know what the SU is. Maybe the manufacturer. If anybody knows the answer, please leave a comment. I'm always trying to learn who's who and what's what. That's about size six. And that almost looks like it would match. Like this could be a set. Right? You've got your engagement ring with the rhinestones. And then you've got the wedding band with the same sort of rhinestones. It looks like it's the same size. So, oops. Nice. But it's tiny. I hope I can get off my finger. Ow! <laughs> that and 
that. I really like this uh, display pad. I've had these wooden trays for years and years because I used to do the jewelry shows, but I used to have that. First I did the gray velvet and they got all dirty and nasty. And then I got the black velvet and a few years, you know, they start getting dirty and nasty. So now I've switched just recently. Um, I did a video on JPI display and I've switched out all my black velvet pads to this kind of burlapy texture. And most of them are just flat to pin the necklaces and bracelets into. But then I got this one for the rings. It's foamy and it's got these little channels. Um, you could probably fit like a hundred or more rings. So it was really great for doing these videos. Um, it also would be great for storing because I've got, you know, the jewelry um, tray case. If it's like 11 or 12 of these trays, you close it up. It's got a telescoping handle and wheels. So it's great if you're doing the shows or traveling to stores to sell your stuff. But when I'm doing these videos, I just have this little wooden tripod thing. And so, yeah. I think that looks kind of cool. I got an emerald with diamonds and gold. Going to the pawn shop, selling it. I'm going to retire. Woohoo! <laughs> so I got a nice green stone, clear rhinestones, gold tone metal. Got this cute little wire filigree design on the side. Pretty good shape. Let me see if I see any markings. Ooh, say something. Say something. And I can't tell. It's really faded. Uh, oh, might have said 18 karat gold fill. Possibly. It's coming in about six and a quarter. Here's what that looks like. I think I have seven rings left. And look, I found a sapphire and diamond and gold ring. Another trip to the pawn store. <laughs> uh, so that's real nice. I like this pattern, how it's kind of open. Oh, is that a missing rhinestone? Oh, man. Let me see. Is it missing? Is it dirty? No, but it's like the foil came on the foil came off on the back you know rhinestones have like a foil coating on the back and if they get wet the foil coating awfully oftentimes goes away so I probably won't sell this because even though the rhinestone is actually there it, see that right there it looks like it's not there because it's so dull uh, let me see if I see any markings on this band. Uh, I see something. S5? Oh, I can't tell. It's like half worn away. Or GS. <laughs> Open to interpretation. That's coming in about size 7. Pretty ring. Hmm. Hey, we got this big honker. What is this like a cocktail ring when they do the clusters of stones? Not diamonds. Cluster of rhinestones. Gold tone band. Looks like it's in okay condition. Let me check for markings real quick. Don't see any markings. This is about six and three quarters. That's fun. I'll put that there. Ooh, this looks tiny. It's cute, like two little clear stones. Sparkly, very thin gold band. 
kind of looks like it's starting to wear away. It's kind of looking a little dull. I might even start to see copper underneath. Is that markings? This is so thin. Oh, it does, but I don't know if I can make it out. This band is so thin. Hmm. Yeah. Looks like gibberish. I can't tell what it says. It's so tiny. I don't think it's going to come out on camera. No. But there's a whole bunch of markings, letters there. Tana, tana. Like four and three quarters. That won't fit anything. <laughs> Here's another blingy ring. So this, this one looks in pretty good shape. The bigger stone in the middle. Then a bunch of clear stones. Oh, are we missing something? Let me see. Might be missing a stone on the side. Or is it another one that's just dull? Oh, I think all the stones are there. I was looking through the camera. It looked like it was missing something. Oh, this one has a bunch of markings on it, too. 925, but I'm guessing this is an imposter. This just doesn't look like the quality of real Vermeer, which is actual gold over sterling. I'm sure this is not gold. Like I said, Goodwill tests everything, and I'm sure if you were to scratch this gold coating away, it would probably be copper, not sterling. So, interesting, interesting. About a size 5. It's just too tiny to fit on any of my fingers. Ow, it's stuck. Three more rings. Like, I'm not upset that these rings are marked 925 or 18 karat. Like, I knew when I was buying them, they were priced. You know, they said that they went through and tested everything. Um, and there was no precious metals in this lot. And, you know, it was priced accordingly. And I usually try to stay within a certain budget when I'm bidding on things. I'll, like, in these smaller lots, you can count how many pieces, or oftentimes they'll say how many pieces, so you can kind of get an idea for how much per item you would be paying and then make the determination there's still enough wiggle room for you to sell these if you want to um but yeah some of these auctions for these costume jewelry rings are going for crazy money i'm like are they seeing something i'm not seeing do they think it's gold and silver and diamonds because they're saying it's not gold and silver or diamonds i don't know these get into these bidding frenzies frenzies it's just like you know I, a lot like this ring lot i don't remember exactly how much i paid 40 rings i probably was shipping paid maybe 50 or 60 so you're looking like at a buck 50 tops per ring i think that's fine especially if there's one or two that you might not sell it's just too worn away or it's missing a rhinestone i still think there's enough here to work with but i'm seeing some of these ring lots going for two or three hundred dollars i'm like okay <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something. So, three more rings. This one's nice. You got a big blingy stone in the middle. Then you got the little pave effect. And a little ring on around the stone. And then more of the pave rhinestones on either side. And silver tone metal. It's a little dull. Probably just could use cleaning. But it's, I don't think it's wearing away to the... Like copper underneath. Ooh, I'm gonna check it first to see if it has any markings. <laughs> Don't see any. Get you a size. Size six. It's not gonna fit on any of my fingers. <laughs> and two more. Ooh, this one's pretty. I had quite a few of the amethyst color. Um, rings in this lot. I might bundle those all together. I often do 
like I'll clear rhinestones, you know, I'll purple, I'll pink, or I'll put them into a bigger bundle with all like purple and lavender color jewelry. So really pretty pale amethyst stone. Let me see, are these real marcasites? Yes, real marcasites, the pyrite. They're not the faux ones, like that one ring I was showing you. Is it this one? Yeah. This one has the faux, faux marcasites. Because if you look at this one under the loop, it's little gold individual stones. If you look at this one under loop, it's just silver dots that have been sh shaped and polished to sort of look like a mark site, but it's not. This one's real nice. I like that. And really good condition, silver tone band. Let me check for any markings. Yep, and I see something. Got it through my loop. Mm. Uh, China? And China, like North China? Maybe. Oop, size. Uh, about a seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter? Is that right? My finger's getting fatter. <laughs> like, I really like that one. Well, purple anything. Like, half my clothes in my closet are purple. It's just my thing. And the last ring in this collection uh looks like it's abalone see underneath and then it's got a clear faceted dome on top to protect it from getting scratched and i think it's got loads and loads of the pave rhinestones loads 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 sparkly sparkly gold tone metal a little bit dull but it's still, I can still see a gold tone. I don't see any copper or other color coming through. Don't think there's any markings on that. Nope. Let's see, what's the size? How do you measure these bigger bands? Do you measure where it's hitting here or hitting there? Oh, I don't know. It's like six to six and three quarters. Here's what that looks like. I wish it would fit on my index finger. That would be cool. And I don't think that's going to fit in here. It's too chunky. Let me rearrange. Ah, avalanche. Ring avalanche. Or bling avalanche. <laughs> it's hilarious. So that's the last of my ring bundle. I'll count these later, but I think there's 40-ish rings. Um, you know, when I'm deciding if I'm going to list these online or whatever, that's when I'll look at what I actually paid for the bundle, including shipping and handling taxes, all that great jazz. Then you kind of figure out a per piece cost, and then you kind of look at comps online, and that's kind of how you figure out a price. And it's all give or take. Ah, here we go. Let's take a closer look at everything. I really like this one a lot. The Ava, I might keep that. Even though it's a stretchy ring, I don't usually go for stretchy rings. Like, I wish this was sterling. I just really like how that looks. It's funky. It's different. That's me. I'm funky and different. <laughs> this one's really awesome. It's abalone. Bling. Oh, monster. And... So these are all the stretchy rings, and then on the board, I put all the sized rings. Really nice. So I was really happy with this bundle. Like I said, these smaller bundles, you can really see each individual piece that you're getting. I mean, you can't always tell if it's going to miss a stone or, you know, a rhinestone or two here and there, or if the silver or gold tone metal is going to be worn down to the base metal but for the most part these smaller bundles you see what you get as opposed to some of these bigger mixed lots where it's more of a gamble but that's kind of the fun <laughs> you never know what you're going to get so thank you so much for watching again this is 
Lynn Smythe from The Creative Cottage. Bye.